Special Farage, leader of UKIP. Uh, you've been looking cheerful in the hall. How have things gone today? I'm always cheerful. <laughs> uh, no, it's been a big day for UKIP. I mean, this is going to be our best by-election result by country mile. Um, I suspect we, w- we won't quite do enough to beat Labour. Um, but I think with the result here, and let's not forget up the road in Middlesbrough, another by-election going on where I think UKIP will also come second. Um, you know, this party is going places. And, and you did well in Barnsley um, last we year. We came second in Barnsley last year. And what annoys me is that the London metropolitan media think that UKIP is purely a protest movement amongst Tories, that everybody that votes UKIP is a half colonel living in Wiltshire. And it's just rubbish. We've got just as much potential amongst the old Labour vote as we have the Tory vote. Did things take off after the fostering case, or did you think you were already making headway? We, this particular town, we've always had a strong branch in. Uh, we've been fighting local elections over the last few years, and our share of the, of, of the market's been building. So I said at Corby, we'd do better in Rotherham that we've done in Corby. Clearly, the timing of the fostering row has made a big difference. And are you making the sort of progress that you can build on in the future? Do you think it, it's not a kind of flash in the pan, the, well, the, the Dennis McShane well, and all the rest of no, it? No, I, I think that, uh, as I say, good local branch, doing well in local elections. After tonight, uh, the focus then is to win seats on the local council. Excellent. I'll just zoom in on your nice rosette, if I may. Get a bit of colour. <laughs> well, thanks very much. See you later. Okay, no Cheers. Bye.